Welcome back to Tech Tips. Today we're diving into DS4 Windows, the ultimate tool for using your PS4 controller on a PC. I'll show you how to install it, connect your controller, and even do some next level key mapping and profile settings. Let's go! Alright guys, let's start by getting DS4 Windows downloaded. Open your browser and head over to ds4-windows.com, this is the official site, so don't grab it from random sketchy pages, okay? Now I've already got the two official download sources open for you, because I know some of y'all hate hunting links. You can use either one to get the latest version. They both work fine. If you're more of a direct download type, here's the GitHub page where all the latest versions live. Just click the top release, then download the .zip file right here. This is the main site. Clean, trusted, and regularly updated. Just scroll down a bit and hit the download button. You'll see a couple of download options, one for 64-bit and one for 32-bit systems. Now, if you're using a modern PC, and let's be real, most of us are. Just go ahead and hit that 64-bit download button. Once the download is complete, don't install it just yet. Before installing DS4 Windows, you'll need to have the .NET Runtime 64-bit installed on your system, this is super important or DS4 Windows won't run properly. Just scroll a bit down the page and you'll see a button for .NET Runtime 64-bit. Click that and get it downloaded. Or if you want, you can just search .NET Runtime 64-bit on your browser easy as that. But no worries, I've got you covered, all the links are in the description below. Once that's done, now we're good to go with the DS4 Windows zip file. After downloading, just right-click on the zip file and extract it using a tool like WinRAR or 7-zip, whichever you prefer. Choose Extract here or Extract to DS4 Windows, and you'll see a new folder with all the DS4 Windows files inside. Alright, that's the prep work done, let's move on to the installation and first time setup. Now that everything's extracted, go ahead and double-click on ds4windows.exe inside the folder. The setup will launch right away. DS4 Windows will ask where you want to save your settings, you'll get two options. App Data, Recommended, this is perfect if you want DS4 Windows to manage everything in the background. Or Program Folder, if you like keeping things portable and in one place. For most people, App Data is the better choice, so just click that and you're good to go. Make sure you enable DS4 Device Support, this is what lets your DualShock 4 controller talk to Windows. And if you're using a PS5 controller, aka DualSense, also enable DualSense device support, this makes DS4 Windows compatible with the newer controller too. These checkboxes are usually shown during the first setup. If you miss them, no worries, you can also find these options later in the Settings tab. Once that's done, hit Continue, and DS4 Windows will finish the setup. Once the initial setup is complete, you might see another driver installation window pop up, don't skip this part. Under step 1, you'll see a button that says, Install VGM Bus Driver. Go ahead and click that. Heads up, you must be connected to the internet for this to work, because DS4 Windows needs to download the driver files directly from the source. This VGM Bus Driver is super important, it basically acts as a virtual Xbox controller that Windows understands, so your PlayStation controller can be used in games without any issues. Just give it a few seconds to install, once it's done, you're almost ready to roll. Alright, once the VGM bus driver finishes installing, it's time to click on Install Hit Hide Driver. Now you might be thinking, do I really need this too? Yes, you do. The Hit Hide Driver is super helpful because it hides your real controller from Windows and games. Why? So your controller doesn't show up twice and mess with your input, which can cause major issues like double movements or glitchy gameplay. Just like before, make sure you're connected to the internet so the driver installs properly. Alright, after you install the Hit Hide driver, DS4 Windows might pop up a message asking you to restart your computer. But hold up, don't restart just yet. There's one more driver you need to install before you reboot everything. That's the Faker Input Driver, and it's super useful for certain advanced features like touchpad gestures or simulated inputs that DS4 Windows can use in some games. Once you've installed all the drivers, VGM Bus, Hit Hide, and Faker Input, just click the Complete button. That closes the setup window and takes you back to DS4 Windows. You're ready to connect your controller. 
Inside DS4 Windows, head over to the Settings tab. Check the box that says Run at Startup. This makes sure DS4 Windows launches automatically whenever you start your PC, no need to open it manually every time you want a game. Next, head over to the Profiles tab, this is where the magic happens. You can fully customize how your controller behaves. Some of the cool options include Enabling the touchpad as a mouse Adjusting axis controls Tweaking Euro settings Changing the light bar color Testing DualSense vibrations and even setting up other controller connectivity features. You can fine-tune everything to match your playstyle, it's super flexible. Alright, here's the main trick you need to remember. If you want your controller to act like an Xbox 360 controller, which most games support best, go to the top and select Xbox 360 from the emulation drop-down menu. But if you want to keep it as a PlayStation controller, like DualShock 4 for PS4 or DualSense for PS5, then just pick DualShock 4 instead. That's it. Choose the emulation that fits your game, and you're good to go. If you don't want to mess with all the settings yourself, no worries. I've got you covered. I'll upload my custom controller profiles, and you can download them using the link in the description. Once you've got them, just open DS4 Windows, go to the Profiles tab, and hit Import to load them into your setup. Easy as that. Plug and play with my preferred settings. Now let's set up your controller wirelessly using Bluetooth. On your PC, open Windows Bluetooth settings. Click on Add Device and then choose the Bluetooth option. Now it's time to put your controller into pairing mode. Hold down the Share button first, on PS4, PS5 controller. And while holding that, also press and hold the Home, PS button. Keep holding both buttons until the light bar starts blinking twice repeatedly, that means it's ready to pair. Once your PC detects the controller, click it to connect and, you're wireless. Once your controller is connected via Bluetooth, go ahead and open DS4 Windows. You'll see your controller show up in the list with its connectivity status, like wireless or Bluetooth right there. If your controller doesn't show up in Bluetooth devices or DS4 Windows isn't detecting it, don't worry. You can try a hard reset. Here's how. Flip your controller over and look for a small reset hole, usually near the L2 trigger. Grab a pin or something slim and sturdy, like a sim ejector tool. Turn on your controller, then press the reset button on the back using a pin. It'll automatically power off, that means your controller has been hard reset successfully. That'll reset the controller and fix most connection issues. After that, just try the Bluetooth pairing process again, and it should work. After connecting your controller, head into DS4 Windows Profiles tab to test for any stick drift, Euro response, and button inputs. You'll see live feedback, super helpful to make sure everything's working before jumping into a game. I'll also show you a few games using this setup, just to prove it works smoothly. But here's an important tip. If a game doesn't detect your controller, especially titles like Forza Horizon or some Microsoft Store games, go back to DS4 Windows, open the Profiles tab, click on Other Settings, and change the emulation to Xbox 360. That fixes compatibility in most cases. You told me to tell you there's a classic off-road vehicle in a barn not far from the festival. Fine. Right back to complaining about not having grandchildren. So you're gonna take that vacation now? Are you... Close line in the corner! He's attacked. Here we go. Here's the pin. Eyes the unforgettable lows. And as the sides return to cross swords for the first time again, we just remind ourselves of the magic of this game. This is what it does to you. It keeps bringing you back. You're now fully set up to use your PS4 or PS5 controller on your PC with DS4 Windows, wired or wireless, fully customized, and game ready. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and smash that bell icon so you don't miss future tech guides and fixes. I've linked all the downloads and even my custom controller profiles in the description, so check that out if you want to skip the setup hustle. Got questions? 
drop them in the comments, I always try to reply and help out. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay techie, stay tuned.